now it's game on. The game goes like this. About 500 cows need to move from their Kremlin ranch to federal land a few miles away. To feed our cows through the winter time. Tim Richard leads this game. So we can start irrigating so we can start uh, growing hay for our cows for the winter. He needs to free up the land so his cattle survive next winter. It's quite a sight at least the visitors. Oh, it's, it happens all the time up here. Hundreds of cattle marching down a county road. Traffic jam. Meanwhile, Tim finds himself playing another game, a waiting game. A little airy, you know, not knowing what's out there now. Waiting to see what happens next with wolves. He knows they're out there. Behind me. He thinks miles away. That's where the, one, the den is here. We're with Tim two days after the state confirmed the latest calf killed by a wolf. Yeah. So far this year, Colorado's wolves have killed 10 cows. The state began the year with 12 collared wolves. That comes out to 0.83 livestock killed per wolf. Most of Colorado's wolves came from Oregon, which counted 178 wolves. In Oregon this year, wolves have killed or injured 33 animals, which comes out to 0.19 per wolf. We're not going away and they're not going away, so we'll figure it out somewhere in between. I think ultimately if we get rid of these two, these two wolves and even maybe whatever's going in Walden, then we don't have an issue. Most of the Colorado livestock killed has been in Grand County. And when that happens, Tim puts his other hat on, leading the Middle Park Stock Growers Association. He keeps writing letters to Colorado Parks and Wildlife, asking the state to kill the wolves that kill livestock. The state keeps saying no, but Tim asks anyway. Keep working on it and trying to figure out what to do. That's where we're at. After about two hours, his cattle complete the move. It might get a little less turn, so just careful. But sometimes the cattle don't want to play Tim's game. <laughs> So waiting turns to chasing until the mama cows find their babies. They'll go to the last place they saw their baby, and so what we do is try to send them off as pairs so they know this is the last spot they saw them. So we don't have a big wreck and stuff going back and forth. The reunions take about two hours. Now we're done, so we will head home. All part of the biggest game, surviving as ranchers. We're here. In Kremlin. We're not giving up. Aaron Adelson, Nine News.